Hello students, today we are going to solve the question answers of NCRT of the lesson uh, pollution of air and water. Okay, so to begin with the first question of the NCRT and the lesson which we are discussing is pollution. Okay, as always I uh, am telling this thing that the name of the lessons you know can be little bit different in different books uh, as it can be only pollution or it can be pollution of air and water or maybe you know in some books the pollution of air is given different in a you know it is a different chapter and pollution of water is again given as a separate chapter. So, uh, it you uh, know the the contents of the chapter will be remaining uh, will remain same ok. Uh, so, let us begin with the first question children. The question number first is what are the different ways in which water gets contaminated ok. So, we are talking about the question answers uh, this question answers we are taking from NCRT and we are discussing the lesson pollution of air and water. So, we are talking about now the question number first and the question number first is what are the different ways in which water gets contaminated ok. So, children uh, we have read this thing in detail in the chapter that how ok we are talking about which pollution water pollution that how water get polluted is not it and even if you know if it is not even uh, you talk you do not talk about the chapter and you just talk in journal you just discuss this thing water pollution in journal then too uh, I think you all will be able to give the answers that how water get polluted is not it. So, so how water get polluted due to the you know the first of all the things the unwanted things which we are throwing in the water ok. So, it can be the wrappers of the any kind of you know the any kind of eatables what we are eating maybe the uh, you know sometimes even uh, pollutants and some all these things we are throwing it. When we go for uh, uh, you know some just kind of a recreation or just uh, the uh, to enjoy the waterfall or something like that. I often observe many people throwing plastic bags maybe sometimes you know if the bag gets broken they want to throw something. Uh, so, they you know just come and just throw the things in the water unwanted things. Now, second thing if you talk about the villages. So, uh, how the water get polluted over there? Uh, they will take bath in that water ok. Then uh, the animals are always more than welcomed over there is not it? Then excreta the removal of waste material is done just nearby to the river water or the rivers is not it. Then if they want to uh, uh, you know wash their clothes that will be done over there only and again the same water is collected uh, for you know using maybe sometimes even for the drinking maybe boiling and doing uh, using it ok. But uh, when we talk about the villages all these uh, activities are very very common. Now, when we talk about the towns now what are the things uh, what are the uh, activities human activities which uh, pollute the river water. One more thing when we talk about the villages even the, you know the uh, the farm plays very important role in this. How uh, the water which comes uh, from the farm may be you know connected in one or the other way to the rivers. So, what is happening you know when the farmers use pesticides when they use VDCIs, fertilizers. So, when all these uh, are being used ok and we all know that nowadays uh, chemicals are being uh, used you know. When we talk about the olden days the manure used to be totally uh, like it, it used to be an organic manure is not it. But now the chemicals are there in the uh, fertilizers, pesticides. Uh, again a little bit interest has been developed in the manure uh, organic manure, but still the chemicals are uh, there in the pesticides and all such kind of chemi uh, you know fertilizers and all this thing. And these chemicals when get mixed up with the water uh, you know maybe the rain water and this rain water then flow or join uh, you know like, like when it flows from the uh, field and it joins the river water all these chemicals get dissolved in this water and become the part of the river water and again it pollutes the river water is not it. 
one major problem is the sewage isn't it now when we talk about the sewage so all kind of waste material you know uh, it can be human excreta it can be the you know the things which comes out from the kitchen uh, so all these get uh, connected to the get mixed up with the water okay river water and pollute the water uh, like anything river water like anything isn't it now when the waste uh, which comes out from the factories the industries it get mixed up with the water water body i'm saying here river but it doesn't mean it's only river when it get mixed up with the water body maybe river pond lake reservoir anything but when these kind of dirty water get mixed up with the water body obviously it is going to pollute the water body isn't it so i was uh, talking about industrial waste uh, or the, uh, the waste which comes out from the factories now these waste also contains lots of chemicals isn't it it con contains acids alkalis then uh, even you know uh, arsenic is there lead is there so all these uh, sometimes uh, mercury is there so all these chemicals get mixed up with the river water and pollute uh, again I, i said river water but again i mean to say what when it get mixed up all these things when get mixed up with the water bodies obviously it is going to pollute the water uh, which is uh, being collected okay or which is there the fresh water or the river water or all these water okay so water bodies will be uh, what what will happen to water bodies it will get polluted okay so what was the question children what are the different reasons of the water being getting polluted i'll just read the proper what is the question given over here what are the different ways in which water get contaminated okay so now we'll write this answer and we'll write this answer um, with some headings you know sub headings like sewage will include the things whatever are there in this okay so let's start the answer number 1 okay so first of all farm waste or agriculture waste okay so farm waste or agriculture waste includes water in it contains chemicals present in fertilizers pesticides okay maybe uh, you know weedy sites etc okay now uh, even the agriculture waste can contain you know several kinds of uh, animal excreta also children okay so even that get mixed up with the water and uh, the flowing water the water the rain water and get again mixed up with the water bodies and then pollute the water now industrial waste so just as now i discuss industrial waste will include what all kind of waste which comes out from the industries isn't it and uh, what does it contain it contains lots of chemicals okay so it can be acids alkalis okay then it can be what children it can be arsenic can be lead it can be mercury okay okay now third see we have written over here uh, what we have discussed over here first of all farm waste the waste which is coming from the farm industrial waste now i'll be writing sewage okay now sewage what can it contain children it can contain human waste okay plastics 
then kitchen waste okay kitchen waste so all these things can come in the sewage okay so these are the main reasons of the water pollution all these get mixed up in the river water and thus pollutes the water okay so let's uh, we'll just go through it farm waste film what does it contain chemicals present in fertilizers pesticides weedicides etc again i am telling you children always i am telling this thing that answers whatever i am writing over here mainly they are the gist of the answers isn't it i am not writing in the sentences how it is supposed to be written so i am writing the gist now the sentences has to be framed by you isn't it that i think you can do it very very easily so this was about the farm waste now uh, industrial waste children acids alkalis you know even the hot water which comes out from the industries and getting get get mixed up with the water bodies even that is very very harmful for the life of the uh, aquatic animals now so arsenic uh, lead and mercury and then when we talk about sewage so uh, when we talk about sewage human waste then plastics kitchen waste kitchen waste all these are uh, responsible for the uh, what the contamination of the water bodies okay now we'll talk about the next question children this was our question number 1 of answer the following questions now we'll talk about answer number 2 for discussing for explanation of answer number 2 i need to read out the question number 2 isn't it so uh, this question number 2 at an individual level how can you help uh, reduce air pollution okay so the question is that how can you reduce air pollution very simple children this also we have discussed and uh, while teaching this chapter i told you many a times that we read many things you know we preach many things but it's not uh, that it's not the uh, thing you know which is going to help that uh, the step which can help our environment is only in the action okay and who will take the action you and me isn't it so what can be the actions uh, what can be the activities or what can or how can we reduce the air pollution by doing what okay so first of all if we avoid uh, using our vehicles unnecessarily okay so Uh, for, uh, see that is very like we all know that we should use uh, public transport but before that i'm telling you if we stop using our vehicles unnecessarily especially uh, the students the children uh, of your age isn't it because you know uh, every now and then where even uh, the bicycles can be used what you people do you people always use what the two wheelers isn't the the scooty the kinetic whatever but you do it isn't it so uh, first of all using vehicles unnecessarily so if you stop using vehicles unnecessarily then also the pollution will be reduced okay now second thing that to use a tra public transport carpool okay now what else can we do uh, actually you know the use of non conventional or the alternative sources of energy the use of alternative sources of energy is definitely you know it it will it will definitely uh, will be very helpful to reduce pollution to a great extent now what is the meaning of alternative sources of energy or the non conventional sources of energy the energy which we are not using for many many years okay the energy which we are using for many years is known as conventional sources of energy what comes under that petrol diesel coal so other than petrol diesel coal are non conventional sources of energy or we can say other than petrol diesel coal are what uh, we can put that into the category of alternative sources of energy now uh, what 
uh, can be the examples of alternative sources of energy. It can be wind energy, it can be solar energy, it can be tidal energy, it can be geothermal energy, isn't it? So by using all these alternative sources of energy, definitely we can reduce air pollution to great extent, isn't it? Again, to use some safer or uh, the, the fuels which pollute uh, atmosphere to a lesser extent. So we talk about LPG okay, and CNG, these are the fuels which uh, definitely pollute the air to a very less extent in comparison to the petrol, diesel and fuel, isn't it? So these all are the ways how we can reduce air pollution, okay? these all are like from efforts taken by common people. Okay? To switch off the engines when you are there in the traffic signals. Nowadays we have at, in every city we have got a uh, time system over there on the poles. We can understand that yeah now we will be having our own signal now we will be moving isn't it. So we can understand so it is better to switch off the engines when we are there the signal and still when we can say like this time for us to move isn't it. So these all little things little step can help you. Uh, and can help our environment. How it can help you? It can help you to save your pocket money, isn't it? And how it can help us? It can help us or it can help, help environment obviously by reducing pollution. And if the pollution is reduced obviously it will be uh, a great help for us children. Actually we will be, uh, we need to keep our environment cleaner and a safer place to live, isn't it? So uh, just let me read the question once again children, the question is at an individual level how can you help uh, uh, you know what to reduce air pollution. And one very important thing children which uh, should be done is plantation and you know not only plantation but to stop the person who is uh, cutting trees. And one more thing related to this that if you plant a tree it just it does not mean they just plant and forget it. No you have to take care of the plant which you have planted uh, till the time it really becomes you know capable of uh, uh, you know like uh, it becomes it gets adapted or it becomes possible for the plant to absorb uh, the water and minerals it gets settled over there. So uh, that care has to be taken. Just, just planting is not enough but to take care of the plant is also very very essential, isn't it? So all these plants, uh, all these plants, say, all these steps can definitely help us in reducing air pollution on an individual level, isn't it? So let us write about this. So the question was at an individual level how can you help reduce uh, air pollution, okay. So by using vehicles only when required in real sense. Okay. use of LPG and CNG, then use of cycles or bicycles, isn't it? Plantation use of public transport use of non conventional
और अल्टरनेटिव सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी ओके सो दीज ऑल आर द पॉइंट्स बाय uh applying or by doing all this thing we can reduce air pollution to a great extent okay so what are those points children by using vehicles only when required in real sense what this sentence mean what does the sentence mean children that means if the if it is possible for you to walk okay if it is a walkable distance then please do so do not use vehicles unnecessarily okay Again, many points are there. You can see. Again, I'm telling you, I'm writing the gist. Now, you can elaborate this answer to any extent, isn't it? If someone asks me to write an essay, I can write an essay on this, isn't it? So, you can write many things to switch off. As we told, we discussed that uh, I'm I'm always telling we. I'm using we. That means it is in discussion. Okay. So, as I told, as we uh, we have discussed, what did we discuss? That uh, to switch off the engines at the signals. okay then uh, we should never fill the petrol uh, tank okay that tank should not be fill, uh, we should av avoid filling it completely isn't it in this way there are many many points which you can do it so uh, even you know to have a regular servicing of the vehicles so all such kind of things are there carpool i have not written over here so what you can do on your individual level that you, you can only tell in a better way isn't it so you can add many points in this and can elaborate the answer again it will depend upon the marks also uh, okay so unnecessarily don't have to elaborate the answer just or uh, the main points i have written over here so it is by using vehicles only when required in real sense okay then use of lpg and cng use of bicycles or cycle whatever you write plantation plantation also you can write as you know uh, then taking care of like whatever we have discussed now use of public transport use of non conventional or alternative sources of energy examples even if you want to write so examples can be wind solar etc energy etc okay tidal and uh, so all these energies can be used so this was our question number second now we'll talk about the question number third but before going to question number third please note all these things so that you know we can move to the next one Okay, let's talk about question number third now. So, what is question number third, children? Question number third is clear, transparent water is always fit for drinking. Comment. Again, I'm reading the question. Clear, clear. Sorry, clear, transparent water is always fit for drinking. Comment. So, children, the question is that if you see water, uh, which is very, very clear, clean, crystal clear, so will you drink that water? So, what should you do? is it what do you consider if you do you consider that water as a clean uh, or a potable water or what do you think about that so you have to write your own comments so children see even if the water seems to be clear it doesn't means that the water is potable we cannot use it for drinking water as a drinking water why because even if the water is clear it doesn't it doesn't uh, It, it's it's not at all necessary that the water is free of germs isn't it what does potable water means water which is fit for drinking yes potable water isn't it now which kind of water is fit for drinking children water which is free of all kind of germs isn't it water which is free from all kind of germs is known as potable water and what is the meaning of potable water children potable water means a water which is fit for drinking isn't it so do you think that the water which is which seems to be very very clear clean uh, should be used for drinking or uh, should we uh, need to uh, you know take precautions 
So obviously children we need to take precautions because it doesn't at all proves like you know by seeing the water or when the water is clean it doesn't means that this water is fit for drinking because it can have many uh, microbes or we can say pathogens or the the microorganisms which are responsible for the spread of different kind of diseases isn't it so now let's write the answer the question was clear transparent water is always fit for drinking comment so this is answer number which 3 it's answer number 3 children so no water which seems to be clean and clear can have many disease causing microbes okay so so such kind of water oh, what I have written see such kind of water need to be boiled or chlorinated before drinking. Okay, so what is the answer children? What I have written? No, water which seems to be clean and clear can have many disease, uh, many disease causing microbes. So, such kind of water need to be boiled or chlorinated before drinking. Okay, so uh, first of all we have written what that we have written a big no that means and again here you have to complete the sentence. Okay, how you will write? that no it is not necessary that clean and clear water is always fit for drinking which I have not written over there children please pay uh, attention over here okay do not write in this way I am just writing the gist of the answers so what you will write no it is not at all necessary that the water which seems to be clear and uh, you know uh, clean is always uh, potable water is always fit for drinking is not it why because it may contain many microbes many harmful uh, microorganism which can be responsible for many diseases okay like typhoid jaundice so it should be what uh, what should be done children it should be uh, what it should be boiled or it should be chlorinated or you know the filter the water is uh, the pure, the water filter which we are using nowadays isn't it so it should be used so clean this by seeing the water like yeah this water is clean here the water is clean we cannot consume we cannot drink that water understood because it may it is just it appears to be clean but it has or it can have it can have many harmful microbes okay. So now this was our question number third children now we will move to the question number fourth okay. So here I will write answer number fourth. Okay, what is our question number fourth? Uh, you are a member of the municipal body of your town. Make a list of measures that would help your town to ensure the supply of clean water to all its residents. I am repeating it children. You are a member of the municipal body of your town. Make a list of measures that would help your town to ensure the supply of clean water to all its residents. So children, if you are head, 
okay then what you will be doing to keep to supply pure water in your area okay so obviously this answer has to be given by you only okay there is no need for me to give the answer because it is individually it is you know asked uh, it is a question which you ha should answer but still what has to be done children the area where the main source of water is there okay it should be very very clean the pipe the you know pipes the pipelines wherever it is going that area should be very very clean as it is the water the water should be chlorinated time to time which is very very important so that the microbes the disease causing microbes cannot be uh, can be removed isn't it so all these small things has to be done by doing this thing you can keep the water you can supply the water uh, okay good uh, or we can say uh, the potable water uh, to your uh, to the members of the you know whatever they have they have asked to the town or whatever okay so what can be done or what has to be done children the main source of water what the place where the main source of water is right that place has to be very very clean that means more emphasis has to be given on the cleanliness isn't it that area should be clean the pipes where the area from where the pipelines or the water uh, goes that area should be clean chlorination has to be done you should make people aware you know you need to make people aware of the diseases which uh, spreads due to contaminated water okay then again even if uh, you are ahead then what else you should do children that you need to uh, you know spread awareness how water can be uh, kept at houses also you know should be covered uh, one should not take water from the dirty hands always when you come out come from outside you should wash your hands with the help of the soap okay you should not put your hand inside the pot which contains water even the at how in our homes also we need to uh, store water at a very clean place isn't it a hygienic place we should keep our houses clean again it is very important because if the house is only dirty uh, it has become unhygienic so uh, obviously the lots of it will give rise to lots of germs microorganisms okay the toilet should be clean now you will think that what is that relation between the toilet and the drinking water so then uh, drinking water and um, i should say in this way the kitchen and the toilets okay are the place where the microbes enjoy a lot in a house okay where does the microbes want to be either in the toilet or in the kitchen okay these are the best places for them so these both places should be very very neat and clean isn't it so it should be washed regularly so all these awareness has to be spread uh, then certain seminars and you know the different ways to educate uh, people to make them aware of how they should use water how they should keep because in you know, a supply of pure water is just not enough how like suppose you have supplied pure water but still when it is being used okay if it is not pure there was a use of being getting pure water so it's very very important to supply or to get pure water but at the same time it's very very important to consume uh, safe water isn't it safe water so let's try about this the question number 4th i'll again re read it i'll read the question you are a member of the municipal body of your town make a list of measures that would help your town to ensure the supply of clean water to all its residents isn't it so what are the things which you can do so the place where the main source of water is there should be clean okay the area where the pipeline 
passes should be very clean chlorination okay now awareness should be spreaded awareness regarding use of water okay and awareness regarding water awareness regarding use of water okay and regarding uh, how water to be kept okay so uh, these are the points which can help you to uh, supply clean water okay so what are the points children the place where the main source of water is there should be clean then the area where the pipeline uh, passes should be very clean chlorination should be done awareness regarding what use of water and how water uh, should be kept how water should be kept so children what will come in this all the points which we have discussed and this if you see this uh, D point it will you know it gives an idea of what is this point okay but listen to what I am saying okay if you listen to carefully if you listen carefully what I am saying you will be able to elaborate this answer properly okay so what is there in this point children that they should always uh, you know uh, wash their hands before they take water they should not put their hands inside the pot they should keep their water pots near uh, uh, you know it, it, the place where they, they are keeping it should be clean it should not be placed near the toilets the toilets should be clean ok that means all about hygiene ok all about hygiene all about cleanliness D point is all like you know it is uh, totally about the hygiene. So listen to it carefully and then you describe what you discuss or you write, elaborate this point ok. So this was our answer number I should I, I think it is answer number fourth ok. So now we will talk about answer number five and please go through it and now just I will just rub it and we will talk about the next answer ok.